Today, I'm looking at a Tivoli Audio Model 1 table radio. And as you can see, I don't really have it on a table right now. I've got it on an old stump and uh, an uprighted plastic tray just to keep the moisture from the stump from getting into the radio. Um, but I've got this thing outside because uh, I wanted to use it uh, out here. I like to uh, have a radio on when I'm working in the yard. And uh, this one seemed like it might be a good one to try. Right now I'm tuned to an AM station, uh, WTIC 1080 out of Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, it's uh, the, the regular Sunday morning program that they have here. But at any rate, um, you're not going to really be able to hear the full audio quality of this radio through the camera. But uh, it doesn't sound bad. And what I like about this radio is the volume control is uh, nice and linear. It, uh, it doesn't, you know, balloon up at one point and get really loud and then really soft. You can, you have a nice linear setting there. Um, and I can get this thing pretty loud. And this station isn't coming in super strong. And I think that's mostly because I get a lot of interference from my electrical system, especially in the garage from the garage door openers on AM. But it gets loud enough to kind of fill this whole area of my yard uh, with sound. You know, I can hear it pretty much up here on the hill. If I start to go down the hill at the end of the driveway, then I can't hear it too much. But but uh, generally, I'm uh, working over here in the side or, or in the back there, and this is kind of a good location to, to have a radio up here. And this one seems to project fairly well. So I'll turn around a little bit and just see what's coming in. And again, I think my wiring here is kind of desensitizing things. If I put this on a battery, it probably would work better. But you can hear, even on AM, it's pulling in a few stations without too much trouble. So I've got my, my choice of stations. And of course the tuning on this is very nice and smooth and accurate. You can really dial in a station. Um, with the way that this thing is geared, you can really, you know, tune in to a weak station and get this thing centered fairly well. Okay, so I'll switch this thing over to FM, and I'm, uh, I'm just going to use the internal antenna. There are provisions on the back here for an external antenna that you can put, 75 ohm wire, or whatever you want. Then you just have to flick this switch over to uh, activate the jack. And then, of course, there's various... Uh, inputs and outputs. This one is for an external AM antenna. I wonder if uh, if I should try that. I hadn't even thought about that, but uh, that might improve my AM reception out here. Uh, auxiliary in, headphones, record out, and uh, DC voltage. Again, I, I could also try running this thing on a battery just to see if that would help uh, minimize the interference I get on AM. But anyway, I'll tune around disorders community a little bit access on to life saving treatments. <laughs> And you can see this thing is picking up a fair number of stations just on the internal antenna, which I believe is a wire that kind of wraps around the face of the radio on the inside of the case. Sunday dinners at mom's house. Good morning. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm having a weird day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and there's some talk good. on well, FM. Uh, it sounds you know, pretty good. Forward, I'm a little concerned with this team because it's. I, uh, like I think this radio is, is more suitable for talk radio. It, sound, it sounds pretty good on talk radio. Um, when I tune to some music, it just sounds a little bit too boomy or, or muddy. I'm not sure that the, the bass is quite optimized for music, but for talk, this thing is really great, and the sound carries. And generally, I'm listening to talk when I'm out here uh, on the weekends, either sports or, or other news or something like that. So this is perfect for, for an outside radio. Okay, so I'm over on the other side of my yard. It's probably a couple hundred feet from the radio, uh, give or take. And you should still be able to hear it. Uh, there's a little bit of wind noise, and then uh, the road noise kind of covers it up over here because I'm 
you know, fairly close to the road at this point. So when a car comes by, it kind of covers it up. But uh, for the most part, this thing is uh, projecting pretty well, which is, I guess, what I would expect it to do. just walk back up to the radio and you can kind of hear how it sounds around the yard. back over here to the bottom of the hill and of course everything sounds real good over here and bouncing off the, the side of the house helps keep it loud over here. Okay then I'm down here by the road at the end of my driveway as you can see and uh, as you can hear the radio is still plenty loud and maybe you can hear the owls in the background as well as I zoom in and there you can see the radio up there on the stump well that'll just about do it for this uh, overview of this Tivoli Audio Model 1 uh, radio that I plan to use for my outside weekend project radio um, if you feel like leaving a comment or subscribing feel free to do so and as always Thanks for watching.